Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 6. We're going to be breaking down the new trailer that was just released. The Flash premieres Tuesday, October 8th. It's currently October the 3rd right now. So we've got basically five days. Well, it will be four days, you know, in the next couple of hours. But we are so close to The Flash returning. I'm very excited. As you guys know, I've been really busy recently. I've started university, I've been busy, I've been, you know, all over the place really with my schedule, so that's why the videos have been inconsistent. And, you know, we're getting close to 100k, obviously it's a bit slower because I've had to, you know, not be able to upload as many videos. So if you please be sure to share this video around and share the channel as we head towards the shows coming back, the video schedule will be back to usual once it starts, so yeah, you are going to want to stick around for that. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so let's talk about this trailer and get right into this. So the first shot of the trailer, and it plays along with the original Flash theme tune, is of Barry and he is in fact with Nora, well this different version of his mum, right? So we can see this is a wider shot, we get this establishing shot of where she is and where Barry is, so he's on this sort of medical bed, this hospital bed, and yeah, she's in some sort of practice. I don't know if it's a real hospital or not, it's a bit too dim and sort of dingy to be that, but some sort of hospital-like practice, right? So she's there, she obviously looks a bit different, a bit more like Flashpoint, even more curly hair though. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is on Jay Garrick's Earth, and I'm pretty sure this may be in their Star Labs. Okay, so now moving on to the next shot. This next shot is really cool, it's a hallway shot, and we are behind Barry and Caitlyn, obviously Killer Frost and the Flash. I have a theory, because a lot of this is episode 1 footage, but also episode 2. I think the hospital stuff is going to be the Godspeed stuff that is going to be in episode 1. We still haven't got like anything really from Godspeed in terms of footage, so it kind of worries me if he's going to be even smaller of a role in this episode. That would be kind of mad, but... Alright, so we move on and we see Barry and he's talking to Iris, and Barry says, Maybe this is the reason I was given powers to save everyone. So this sort of links into Crisis and what's happening and obviously this trailer is heavily linked to Crisis and there's a lot of stuff to talk about but in the comics what happens in Crisis and he dies basically and in some versions of the comics Barry eventually becomes a lightning bolt to give himself powers in the past and it's sort of like an ongoing cycle right? So with him saying maybe it's the reason why I was given powers to save everyone is a reference to that and it's a reference if Barry dies and if he turns into the lightning bolt if he goes back in time to save everyone he stops crisis but he dies maybe that is his purpose and that so that's a really nice line I really like that and then we cut to Iris and Iris is sitting above him and I do believe they are both on Jay Garrick's earth at this point I'm not sure if Barry's in the exact same bed but Anyway, so Iris says, we've changed the future before, we can change it again, and then she says, the Barry I know would never stop running. And so I think in this episode, Iris is going to act as sort of a booster for his confidence, because after finding out about Crisis and everything that's going to happen, and, you know, with him going to the future, which we'll talk about, he time travels, he knows a lot of shit. And he's going to be burdened with that, and I think Iris is going to help take that burden off and sort of relax him a bit, but also get him a bit more on track. So we've got this other shot of Barry, and he's in the apartment, looking very somber once more. Then we move on, we got this inside Star Labs, we got Caitlyn, we got Cisco, and we got Barry. Barry looks kind of shocked, I'm not sure what's going on here, but something has been happening. And we've got Ralph at the CCPD with Joe in the background, obviously Captain Joe West now, very exciting, and we have our better look at the new Harrison Wells, and this is an insert shot for another shot that we were talking about a few days ago when they released the other trailer, but also, you know, this is later in the trailer as well, it's in that same alley with Cisco and Iris. Okay, so this is interesting, and I don't know what exactly is going on here, but it's some sort of simulation, Barry and Iris are looking at it, 
I do think it simulates the multiverse or something to do with Crisis. I don't think it's anything to do with Godspeed or anything like that. So, yeah, that's my theory. Okay, so we go to this wide shot. We're in the same lab. Yeah, Jay Garrick is right there. And so I really do think this is Earth 3, considering this is Jay Garrick because he's got his suit. It's been confirmed. So he says, you want to tell me why the hell you were time traveling? So this is the big revelation of this trailer that Barry actually in fact time travels to go find out about what happens in Crisis. He needs to see the Crisis for himself. And so we get this reverse shot right here of Barry and he says I needed to see the Crisis for myself. So we're going to see some sort of flash forwards, some sort of alternate future that could potentially happen that they've shot and is going to be inserted into this episode which is very very exciting. And I'm looking forward to that because I love the idea of time travel and I love when Barry does it because it really kind of fucks with the timeline and, you know, anything is possible. The future that he will see in terms of crisis is a possibility and he has the ability to, you know, stop that and change it in some way. But Jay is questioning him again because, you know, Jay, like last time we saw him properly, really was back in season three, to be quite frank when he explained how, you know, time travel affects timelines essentially with that cop trick. So, yeah, we go back to the lab and I'm not sure whose lab it is, but Barry's fighting someone. I do think this is episode one with Godspeed. Back in the time vault, we've got the monitor and he shows up. This is towards the end of episode one and it's a warning and this leads into the Jay Garrick stuff in episode two. And so... He doesn't really say much, the monitor, but his sort of lingering presence, we get a reaction. So the lights turn on by itself or, you know, via the sensor. We've got Barry and Iris right here looking at Manuvo, aka the monitor. And so we got this shot of the monitor right here. It's a close up. And so he's warning of what's to come, essentially. So lots of crisis stuff to look forward to. Okay, so we got this shot of Barry with Caitlin and. He's looking up, he kind of looks a bit, you know, in despair somewhat about, you know, whatever he's just seen. We go to a graveyard and there's two people. I think this is to do with blood work. However, it could be, you know, totally one of those flash forwards to do with Crisis and, you know, potentially Kara dying, potentially Barry dying and everything like that. Okay, so I think this is a flashback shot, but we got this new version, this sort of adventurous version of Harrison Wells. And this is very adventurous. Okay, so we got this guy returning, Snake Eye, or whatever his name is. You guys know I really don't like him, so I really don't care about him. So let's let's just move on. He's just not a good character, and I don't know why they keep him bringing him back. Same thing goes for Danny Trejo's new character, who was introduced a couple of seasons back. Breacher wasn't interesting. He was in season four. He was just like there for comic relief and that's it and it wasn't even that funny and yeah i mean danny trejo's cool guy pretty cool actor but i don't like his role in the flash and so cisco's there camilla's there they're lying in bed and it's gonna be awkward and everything like that so yeah and we got this mysterious woman so i'm not sure who she's actually playing but there's been some rumors going around but i won't state anything right now we'll just wait till confirmation okay now let's move on to talk about the next shot we got this this is of barry and ralph teaming up together and barry's in his new suit so this is you know sometime towards the end of episode one or episode two or episode three it could be sometime around any of those honestly so we'll have to wait and see but he's teaming up with ralph here and there's people surrounding him we have sendil coming in as Dr. Ramsey Rosso, aka Bloodwork, he's going to be the villain for the first half, and so he says, where is it you get your strength, talking about how Barry faces death, and obviously we know, oh, Barry's got superpowers, but he doesn't know yet, but he's going to find out soon, and he's going to turn into a villain, so yeah, looking forward to that. Okay, so we got another shot, I'm not sure who it is behind him, because that's not Ralph anymore, but it's a similar shot. And there is some shadowed figures and in the background. And also Barry's face is very much in shock. Kind of all glossy and everything like that. So it kind of imitates sweat somewhat. So something dangerous is there. Maybe it's Godspeed. 
Okay, so we get this close-up shot, and he's got this ring from this other person, flings it, I don't know what that does though. Okay, so this is very interesting, we've got Joe here, and we get a flash of gold and sort of white light, and I feel like this is Godspeed. I've been theorizing about this scene, and I think this kind of proves that it is more likely than not going to be Godspeed. Okay, so number 30 in terms of the shots. We have Killer Frost, just a normal Killer Frost shot, nice shot. And we have Cisco. This kind of looks like a flashback, the color grading's different. We've got Ralph in the street, and then we have Barry, and Barry is just talking. And then we go to Cisco, and he says the suit is ready. So yeah, Cisco makes a suit that's been confirmed via this trailer. We get this next shot, he's fully suited up. I think it looks pretty cool. Then we get this other shot, it's a little bit closer, still in a medium right here and the lighting's very blue it's kind of a bit hard to see but he's in his full costume obviously then we have barry on the sofa talking to joe he's talking about the badge and you know what he stands for barry's very depressed he's very very down this is definitely in episode two maybe towards the start of episode three after he's found out about this crisis that's coming after he's seen the impact and how big it is I think this is when he gets emotional. Okay, so we go to kill Frost. She's actually stabbing a statue or like a sort of mannequin, like a dummy. And that's very interesting because in different parts of the trailer, it's actually Grant moving around. So I don't know if she's practicing to stab Barry, but probably not. Okay, so we get the shot of Jay Garrick's suit as the Flash. Really cool. This is inside whatever labs they're at. And maybe it is Star Labs. Then we get this shot of Barry, Barry sort of just smirking on into the distance. Moving on, we got Barry sad again, but in a close up. And we have a street shot, this is similar to the Joe one, we got Killer Frost and Elongated Man, they're looking in the air so something's happening, I think this is Godspeed. Back in the time vault, what we have is an explosion and I think this explosion is the key sort of frame where the monitor walks in and i think that's gonna happen right there so then we move on and we got caitlin being dragged across the ground at cc jitters again probably godspeed that would be my best guess right now and then on to one of the most interesting bits this is the ending scene the ending scene looks really great love the color and everything barry looks very somber and sad and he says i can't stop what's coming i have to prepare the team for this crisis and maybe even a world without the Flash. So, when he goes to the future, does he see a world without the Flash? I'm guessing he does. I think that's a high possibility that when he goes to the future, he sees that he dies, and maybe, I don't know, Iris or Caitlyn dies, someone kind of close to him, and so he's talking after he's experienced that time travel experience of seeing what happens in crisis or a little bit of it and he says i can't stop what's coming and i think it's due to the magnitude really of the anti-monitor and you know his invasion force so he has to prepare the team for crisis in terms of the team obviously he means team flash and then when they talk about the flash being gone and sort of just erased and dead you get this shot right here it's not very good quality because it was really small on the trailer but he's lying on the ground in his suit, so I don't know, he's being beaten up. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see rare.